Okay, so this is going to be a guideline on how to install the MIUI ROM on an HTC One S. Uh, the reason why I'm doing this video is just to uh, make uh, uh, some form of uh, steps that uh, you can follow if you want to install the MIUI ROM on the on the One S. Uh, I did not find a lot of uh, uh, resources on it. That's why I wanted to make the video. Um, so if you have a stock ROM, uh, the first thing you want to do, you want to um, unlock the bootloader. Uh, that's going to be your first step, and you want to go to HTC Devs. Dot com. I'll post uh, the links on the description box. Mm, so um, the first thing, um, just go to the their website and follow the steps there. The, the one thing that I did find is that Chrome will not work on that website. Uh, you want I use Firefox, so if, uh, that's going to be the first thing that you want to make sure you, that you're using the the Firefox browser. Um, after you've unlocked the, the bootloader, the next thing is you want to flash the recovery on the on the phone. Um, there is a couple of uh, recoveries. The one that I have right now is the Team Win recovery. Uh, the first, uh, the first time I install, I try to install the MIUI. I install the Clockwork mod, and uh, when I tried flashing the the ROM, the MIUI ROM, onto the phone, it did not uh, load it all the way through. So um, I had better luck with the Team Win recovery. Uh, so that's what I recommend. Um, so yeah, uh, the first thing you want to do, uh, regardless of the ROM of the recovery that you um, we're gonna try to uh, flash. The first thing you want to do, you want to back it up. Uh, the, you want to back up the stock ROM. Uh, that way, if something fails, uh, like it, like like it did in my case, uh, you have something to fall on. Um, I did not have it, so I had to uh, uh, find uh, ways to not break the phone to unbreak it. So uh, yeah, um, back it up and then um, just install the MIUI. Uh, the version that I have right now is the latest one. It's the 2.8.10. Um, and I'll show you guys how that um, how that looks. And I'm, so I'm gonna go ahead and reboot. Yeah. So uh, to install the recovery, um, I'm not gonna get into that uh, on this video. There are some step-by-step -step guides on xcadevelopers.com. They're they're really thorough. So uh, I don't I don't think you have a lot of problems with that. Um, the one thing that I do wanna uh, point out is that it doesn't come the that version, the 2.8.10, does not come with uh, the Google apps, uh, specifically the apps, the the Play Store. Um, so you want to go ahead and uh, install the 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 Google apps image, uh, and I'm gonna post a link on the description box because I did try um, several um, a Google app images, and they did not work. So I'm gonna I'm gonna make sure and post the one that worked for me, um, so that you can have the uh, the Play Store and you can have uh, all the Google apps and you can just download all the apps that you need um, this is the what the MI UI um, looks like that's the the all the customers this is the lock screen this is the lock screen yeah so that's the that's just my um, notification um, so yeah it's this is the the stock um, lock screen uh, the one thing that I've, I've seen that it crashes on startup is the uh, the updater, I have not looked much into it. I'm not sure uh, specifically what it does uh, or if it's just uh, something that I need to do on the settings, just set it up correctly. Um, I have, ha haven't had a chance to check that. Um, but I have checked all the um, uh, the hardware on it and pretty much everything is working. The only thing that i not seen it uh, work is the GPS. Uh, it cannot find where I am. Um, I have not done a lot of testing, so uh, just from what I can see, it's not working. Um, just out of the uh, straight out the ROM, mm, I cannot. But I tried the Bluetooth uh, and the Wi-Fi works, and the radio phone and the data. Uh, so pretty much everything is working except the GPS. Uh, the updater is also crashing, but I don't think that's not a big deal. Um, the the one other thing that I did find is that on the uh, messages, uh, when you first install the the ROM, the font that it comes with, it's a white font, and then uh, as you can see here, the the background to to type it's also white, so you cannot see the the letters that you're typing as you're typing them. Um, so what I ended up doing, I just um, changed the theme, uh, and now my all the the font uh, in my in my phone is it has a it's a neon blue, uh, but I'm pretty sure uh, somewhere along the customization um, settings there is uh, a place where you can change the the font color and I'll show you guys the system build 
the 2.8 2.8.10 yeah so this is the 2.8.10 that's the bill number mm, so uh, that's pretty much it um, it's a great ROM uh, from what I've played with uh, from the last couple of days uh, it ha you can customize everything on it that's what I really liked about it and uh, you can even change the fonts the lock screens pretty much everything you wanna you wanna customize you can um, so if you have any questions, I can try to answer them for you. If you put them on the uh, comment, uh, on the comments, um, I have not done a lot of uh, uh, playing around, so I'll, I'll do my best. But uh, you're more than welcome to post some um, questions if you have them. So hopefully this helped. If you're trying to uh, install the MIUI ROM on your phone, it's a it's a great ROM. Um, and yeah, so thank you for watching.